My name is Danielle. Cool. Um, I play ukulele, banjolele, uh, whatever, uh, in Out of System Transfer. Yay! Um, yeah, I'm Jesse. Um, I play guitar, sing, uh, write most of the songs, and uh, drive the van most of the time. Yay! <laughs> I'm also Jesse, I play bass in Out of System Transfer, uh, also drive the van a bit when I'm around. <laughs> I'm John Good, I play the trombone, I almost never drive the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all went to school together at Oberlin College in Ohio, um, and then we all, most of us are from New York, um, and then we all kind of met up, uh, met up again in New York after yeah. graduation, mm -hmm. and we'd been in different bands and different combinations. Like, lyrically, we're very... New York City centric. We have all these songs about like the subway, about like climate change affecting New York City. Your about name. Our name mm -hmm. is a subway a reference. And it's kind of like an urban version of train hopping. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't really hop trains, but we ride the subway. I like being thought of as Americana, and that like a lot of like when you think of Americana, it's like oh, country living and mm -hmm. and like you know like white folks doing white folk stuff. Um, but like the city is at least as much America as as the rest of America, and like you know, New York City is you know, a, and like the immigrant experience and the melding of cultures is like really, really what makes America great. And so this is American music. You know? We all grew up in uh, in households where folk music was being played. My cool. dad's like a folk musician, cool. um, so from an early age, like kind of being introduced to like Pete Seeger and. Um, what you got three and that sort of thing, and it's the kind of thing where you, uh, you kind of you move away from it a little bit mm -hmm. in your in your teens as you you know you want to establish your own identities yeah. and stuff, and then get you get a little older and you're like oh wait actually this is like amazing and really influential on who I am, and you don't need amps or a real practice space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think politically we're very like kind of we're always kind of grounded in that in that uh, tradition of the uh, the old uh, labor hymns and all of that. We were kind of just getting started as in this lineup actually while Occupy was happening. So. Well, John and I um, at the time were playing in the Rude Mechanical Orchestra, which is an activist brass band, and we were very active with Occupy. Did all of the big marches. Um, oh, like every few days you guys were doing another march. Yeah, there were a lot of actions going on. That movement did a lot to. To, to show that like, wow, there really are a lot of people angry and a lot mm -hmm. of people who, you know, aren't happy with the way things are going and that like the message that, you know, that are in Jesse's songs is one that a lot of people uh, really need to hear. Mm -hmm. Something that's really important for your songwriting was really influenced by Pete Seeger who we were talking about is he said, um, don't what did he say? He said, uh, be beware of editorials in song and better to tell a story. Just trying to like, trying to uh, tell, a, tell a personal story um, that reflects the political issues rather than just addressing uh, the issues directly. I think it's important that we like have a sort of lighthearted and kind of fun approach to these you know, serious issues that we sing about and that we you know, feel strongly about. You know, you kind of balance that aspect in your mind so you're not kind of going crazy and freaking yourself out about uh, kind of these not great times that we're in. It just always, it just seems like a natural way to, to approach it for me. I can, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, from like New York Jewish culture and we're, yeah. we're all about stories and humor. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's a really like Jewish thing. Actually, like at uh, Passover Seders, we say, I was a slave in Egypt and then mm -hmm. I was freed, mm -hmm. even though we ourselves mm -hmm. were not. In Egypt. So yeah, a, go a golem oftentimes in, in folklore is like uh, conjured up by the people of the of the shtetl or, or the ghetto to, to, to protect them from their from their oppressors or whoever else would uh, would seek to harm them. And uh, so the the image that we were going for on the record cover was uh, a golem that's summoned using music mm -hmm. um, and protects people from from police, from the state, from from exploit exploitation. Protest music is not like it's not to change people's minds and convince people who are, who are against you. It's like a service for all the people in the movement. Um, the same way like cooking some food and bringing it out to the march or something is a service for the people in the movement. And we're just, you know, it's part of just, uh, you know, this is gonna be, we're all in a really long struggle here and we need to take care of each other. Um, and we, we don't just need, you know, food and, and shoes and things like that. We also need things like, we also need things like music. Two, one, two, three. Ah. One, two, three.
Start catching the portal down. What cables to her phone? 